Yo, what's going on folks? It's your boy Blessed Jeff back at it again with a new video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Bless Squad folks where we bring out new recipes each and every week. Alright folks, today's video is all about birria tacos. Alright, check it out. I would say for the last month or even two months, I've been seeing these tacos everywhere. And I said, you know what? I gotta try it out. But please, a disclaimer. The, the 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 authentic police just chill all right just chill okay <laughs> under no means am i am i mexican but hey like i said i do want to try my hand at it so hey here's my take on it and so without further ado let's get right into it all right so here's a quick rough look at all of our ingredients all our different chiles onions um oregano you name it as always everything will be down below in the description all right to begin let's go ahead and remove the stems the veins and the seeds from all of our chiles we don't want that and again because we are using dry chiles let's submerge them in some hot water just until they're soft and malleable honestly it took about let's say one minute or two there about but again let them chill in there for a little bit come nice and soft and manageable All right, for our beef, we're using chuck roast, and let's go ahead and lightly season it. Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and again, be sure to get all four sides. And from there, in a very hot pot, go ahead and cover the base with oil, a neutral oil. I'm using canola, and from there, let's go ahead and sear the meat. Honestly, it's nothing more than developing a nice brown crust on all four sides, and really, it took about, let's say, two minutes max per side. Flip it until you get a nice, golden brown color and all this does is help to develop a lot more flavor all right so at this point we have some lovely color and again the point of this is not to fully cook the meat we're just developing color from there let's go ahead and take it out and put it to the side also all those bits on the bottom that's fond it helps to develop flavor from here let's come in half of an onion two cloves of garlic and let's just cook it down let's make them sweat all right we want to release all that flavor from here one cup of your stock of choice, I use beef stock. Add all your chiles back to the pot, as well as two tablespoons of chipotle in adobo. This can be picked up at anywhere, Giant, Walmart, you name it. From there, reintroduce your beef back into the pot. And from here, I went ahead and added one more cup of water, covered it, and let it cook for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, let's go ahead and remove all the solids. So to the best of your abilities, all the peppers, onions, garlic, you name it, take it out and we're going to blend it. Once our onions and pepper mixture is fully blended, go ahead and add it back into your pot, give it a mix and the heat is on a high. And now let's season up. We got bay leaves, we got cumin, we have Mexican oregano or regular oregano, and also our seasoned mix from earlier. Give that a mix, and from here, cover it and let it go for one hour. We will check on it. After an hour, this is what we have. As you can see, it has reduced a bit, so I did add some more water. Again, just so that it does not burn. Mix it around, and the meat is not yet tender, so I let it go for another hour. Two hours later, this is what we have. If you want, you can stop here. It is fully cooked, but I like my meat very tender. So I let it go for another hour and look at this. Come on. As you can see, it has reduced. The meat is extremely tender I and mean, literally breaking apart right before your eyes. From here, let's go ahead and put all of our meat in a separate bowl. We're going to show that for later. As well as take out some of the sauce or the consomme in a separate bowl. And then from there, we will assemble. Listen, when I say tender, we literally did not even need a fork. Like, you can literally shred it with your hand. That's what I'm talking about. Super tender, super juicy, extremely moist. That's how we want it. All right, now it's time to build. I'm using corn tortillas. Dip them in your sauce. From there, I'm using my griddle. But feel free to use a cast iron, whatever you got. Throw on your cheese of choice. I did mozzarella. From there, add your shredded beef. Come on. Fold it, let's develop a nice crust on each side. I mean, come on, look at that. Flip it so the other side cooks as well. And from there, you know, add more sauce if you please. Give it another few minutes, take it off, repeat, repeat, repeat. Also, a little tip 
when you initially place the tortilla down it will stick so of course as you see me are also doing take like a spatula whatever you have and just like shove it under just so that it doesn't stick as much but again they're tacos so it's all right if it's messy you know feel perfectly fine again same process add your cheese fold it let it melt from there let's plate up and enjoy And there you have it, folks. Birria tacos. Again, this was my take on it. You know, it was quick. It wasn't that quick, but nonetheless, though, they were so amazing. The flavor is just bursting in your mouth. I'm telling you, if you have the time, definitely, definitely, definitely give this recipe a try. And if you do make it, please feel free to tag me online, tag me on Instagram, tag me on YouTube, tag me on TikTok, Snapchat, whatever it is, at Blessed Jeff. And please, folks, if you enjoyed this video, or learn anything at all do me a favor like this video subscribe and hit the bell just so that anytime i upload you won't miss a beat folks i gotta go but three things i gotta tell you you should know by now god is love food is good now let's cook until next time bless squad peace